Yeah, good afternoon, welcome to Mountain Bike Outdoors. As you can see the temperature's dropping, we're getting close to Christmas, it's the 17th of December and I've got all my Christmas shopping done so I'm a happy camper. Uh, so today I want to discuss torches with you. I usually carry lead lenser products, I have been for a, a few years now. I used to carry uh, the uh, P4 which is sort of a pencil length AAA flashlight. Uh, they're absolutely fine. I lost it, I fell off my bike and I lost it. So I looked at getting a replacement and the new model, the new P4, um, I don't think is actually any good. I used to be able to focus the, the beam on the P4 just by twisting the top of the head. The newer ones, it's more of a, a push-pull type of assembly. It's a plastic basically shaft that just slides up and down on. Um, it's a bit of a disappointment for me. I think the build quality of some of the LED lenser products has started to slip a little bit. So I started looking further afield and I came back to the old faithful mag light. We've all carried mag lights. If you're sort of over 25 years old, you've probably got an old mag light floating around in the drawer somewhere. But as you all know, mag lights use incandescent bulbs. And let's face it, in today's market, they just don't cut it in terms of brightness. They're, uh, they're not much cop. But they've upped their game recently and they've started knocking out LED flashlights, torches. So I'm going to share with you today one I've just picked up. It's the Maglite AA uh, Pro version, um, which I think is an absolutely fantastic little torch. So I'm just going to get you set up on a tripod and we'll have a look at the torch. Okay, here we are. So if you've seen the old mag lights, this is a, an old AAA mag light, one with the incandescent bulb. As you can see, it's not particularly bright. It's, uh, it's been in my drawer for a few years. Wait for the bus. So it's been in the drawer for a few years. So it takes triple A's and it's got, if you remove that spring, there's a spare bulb in the tail cap, which is a, a really nice design feature that they used to put on. Always handy to have a spare bulb. Um, yeah, as you saw, it's not very bright. But back in the day, Maglite was kind of revolutionary in terms of its quality control. You know, this is all machined from uh, aluminium. It's all been hard anodized as well. So they were, back in the day, the standard for tough or professional torches. Like I said earlier, times have changed. Maglite, they've only just started catching up in terms of their, uh, their lumen output. So without further ado, this is the Maglite AA Pro. Now, the one I bought on Amazon was rated at 272 lumens. The one that was actually shipped to me came in at 332 lumens, so that's their uh, sort of top spec torch if you like. So I was quite happy about that, so I had a, an extra few lumens to play with. So just to turn it on, mind your eyes people, that is what you get when you turn the torch on. So it goes from spot and then you twist to get the flood setting on the torch. I personally like that, I like to have a concentrated beam light when I turn the torch on. So in terms of difference between this and a normal AA mag light, this one's actually a fraction longer. There's, um, it's notably, noticeably longer, maybe about half an inch or so. Uh, if you remove the tail cap, obviously being an LED mag light, you're not going to get the spare incandescent bulb holder because you just don't need it, they don't put those in anymore. So it takes two sort of standard AA batteries. If you take the batteries out, you will notice a slight rattle if you shake the torch. Once you install the batteries, that goes away. So I was a little bit worried to begin with, but once you screw the cap on nice and tight, you're absolutely golden. So you've got the serial number on the torch there, which the older mag lights never used to have. Um, this torch then puts out 332 lumens. The normal AA version of this torch, the old incandescent one, you're probably looking at around um, 10, 15 lumens. So this absolutely knocks it out of the park. It's a nice weighty feel in the hand. It's the usual mag like quality. It's um, you know it's just machined from aluminium, aluminium sorry, hard anodized. So yeah, it should take a few knocks. It is rated for one meter drop protection, so you should be able to drop it on something solid from one meter without any issues. It's IPX4 rated, which means that it's uh, weather resistant. It doesn't mean it's waterproof, so you can get away with spraying it with a bit of water. It's gonna take a heavy downpour rain, but you're not gonna get away with submerging it in water like you can with um, your modern smartphones, which are IPX7 um, or eight. So yeah, 
You do get um, a pouch with it, which I think is um, absolutely useless. It's got a, uh, a belt loop on there, and the torch just slots in. I've already dropped it once this morning. It literally just slides in, but as you can see, if I tip it upside down, it, it will fall straight back out again. So I would bin the pouch if you want to keep hold of your torch, it's, you're going to lose it. Uh, in terms of price then, so this is about 20, 25 quid. I got this from Amazon. Like I say I ordered the 272 lumen version, I got the 332. So I got the brighter one, so happy days. Got a nice little deal there. Um, Maglite also do a AAA version of the Pro. Well, it's not, not called the Pro, but it's a AAA LED Maglite. And that one puts out, I checked this morning, 84 lumens. So it's uh, sort of just under a third of what this one will put up. Having said that though, do you really need all these lumens all the time? Sometimes a small torch will cover you nicely, especially for little jobs around the house. So the one thing I don't like about this torch is its battery life. It is only rated at two and a half hours on a good set of AA batteries. 332 lumens, you've got two and a half hours of burn time. It is extremely bright, it will get the job done. But just bear that in mind if you're thinking of going away for maybe a couple of nights, you're going to need a couple of sets of batteries for this if you're um, supplementing your head torch as well. I'd always recommend a head torch if you're going away for the evening. Um, so the burn time on the AAA version of this torch is around five and three quarter hours, so substantial increase. Okay, so you're getting a third of the lumen output, but like I said, do you really need that amount of lumens? Do you need that kind of brightness? If you do, then fine, grab one of these. Um, so yeah. I say lead lenses are moved away from them. Maglite's quality controls remain consistent. They're still using the same materials. It, to my sort of eye, the quality control is still there. So from now on, I'm going back to mag stuff. I said there's no switches. It's literally just a twist to turn on and twist again to turn off. It's simple. The simpler it is, the less likely it is to um, break down when you need it. So I hope you found this um, quick little review useful. I've got another review coming up shortly on the Focus Subcom uh, friction folder. Uh, so that will be coming at you quite soon because I'm going to shoot the same um, a video today for that as well. Definitely to consider one to buy. Hope you've enjoyed the video and I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.